Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and today I'll be covering the home tab in Microsoft Word. In my previous video, Introduction to MS Word, I had covered the Office button, the Quick Access Toolbar, the Document Heading, the General Tabs. Now I would be coming the Home tab in detail. So before we proceed to that, uh, let's overview. Let's go in. Uh, let's go through this section. This is the text section. You can write anything over here. I can write, I like my lesson. See, you can write in this section. You can. Now we can do a lot with this. Now uh, to do a lot more with this, I will. Uh, I will we will have to write in some more text to write some more text I'll use a magic trick uh, this is a one of a kind trick just type is equal to R A N D rand open and close the bracket and press enter and there you see three well written paragraphs over here well this is a wonderful trick uh, in Microsoft Word all right so now since we have it here we have the data over here and we will start working on it uh, the home tab this tab starts with paste button now paste button what does it do will actually it if you copy something then it will allow you to paste it anywhere in the document so see I have selected this and I have right clicked it and I have clicked on copy from here I can even click on copy from here so I copy it and then I click over here and I can paste it either paste it from here or do a right click and paste it from here so I like my listen and now what is this cut so let us select this once again and now click on cut it can also be accessed by control X as the name suggests Con control X what would it do it will actually Cut it from here and now you can again paste it here. So you do a right click and do a and do a paste. So here it is. How to use paste. Now comes format painter. Well for format painter I will have to show you another trick, then I'll show you format painter. Uh, see for example I have selected this column uh, this section and if I see if I hover my mouse to the end I get to see this special window now I can use it for some special things like I can now highlight it using a highlighter same thing is available here also now I am highlighting it with yellow color I can choose to highlight it with another color also let's say green so I select it and I highlighted it with green color. Now this is now a specific format. Now I want to copy the same format over here also but I don't want to go over here. What do I do? Well I actually select this, click on format painter and drag my mouse button over the area where I want to copy the same format you see if I bring my mouse near here I we can see this brush sign so we just double click the mouse and select the complete area press enter and we can copy it copy the format like this well we can undo this also I had taught in the earlier video here it is undo undo let's see the formatting is gone and the formatting is gone from here also this was the format painter. Now I am gonna show you how to use different fonts in MS Word. All right. Now see, I have selected this text. Uh, I like my lesson. Yes, I certainly like it because I happen to own it. <laughs> All right. Well, I like my lesson. I have selected this text, and now I can choose font. Now in Excel, in, in MS Word 2007 and above, there is an option wherein you can change the fonts without even actually choosing them. Just roll over your mouse over these names 
these are the names of the designs of the fonts and you can see them happening over here them changing the position these are all fonts there are hundreds of fonts available so you just roll down your mouse over here and you will be able to change the fonts choose so many this is what I have chosen for now so this is how we can choose the font and next to it adjacent to it is the font size button now we can choose the font size also you see now we have to keep in mind this changes would be applied once you press enter or double click your mouse and will happen only over the selected region so I bring it back to 11 size. Now I select this section and I'll show you something else. Now I can we can even increase the font from here. See? We can decrease the font from here. And if there are any formattings, we can remove the formatting also from here. Remember we had a formatting this one say I have given it a format. Now I want to clear it. I'll just select this area and I'll clear the format. So let's see. Now the format is not gone. So we will choose a no color. Uh, well, I'll get back to this. And now say we select it again and we want to uh, highlight this area using bold formatting we just click on this B and this goes bold if you un want to undo it just click it again this is for italics and you can get back to the normal view and let me increase the font size for you now this is underline see you can get an underline now there are multiple designs of underline over here just see the changes MS Word team actually did a wonderful job. So this is underline. You can remove it also. Just simply undo it. And there we have changed it. Now we select it again. And if you want to strike through look. This is a strike through look. You can use it from here and undo it also. This is to show something in small. Something above the line. And this is to get the to change the casing. See, uh, this is sentence case. I click over here, you will get a full stop at the end of this paragraph. Now, let me increase the font for you. Now, lowercase, the complete or any letter in this selection would be turned uh, which is in capital letter would be turned to lowercase see this two this two both ka, uh, the, the B of both and now if I want to change something to uppercase see the complete letters have been turned to uppercase and capitalize each word now this will actually capitalize the starting word of every word the starting letter of every word just see this there are a whole lot of possibilities with MS Word makes life so very easy and this is toggle can a uh, toggle case this is so wonderful I simply love it see <laughs> this is fun to look at and hard to read <laughs> so uh, maybe I could have sent such emails to my boss and he would have fired me Rightly so. I will, I will use capital with each word. Capitalize each word. And now comes the highlighter. Well, actually, I have already taught this. We can highlight these colors. And this is for text. We can color the text. See. Red, yellow, green, dark green. And we will stick with red. And now comes bullet points. Well, here we have written, I like me on my e-lesson. And I write, say, mm, my friends also like it. I will bring them together. OK. 
Okay. Let's put that space. Cool. Now if I select them, you know what? I can give them I can keep them I can put point them across in bullet points just by clicking over here. You see? We have bullet points over here. Now not only bullet points, we have multiple types of bullet points. See. So if I choose you, you, you are looking at the changes over here, just see. I roll over my, my mouse over here, you can see the changes. A simple bullet point, a different kind of one. A square, a colored, a artistic, pointed one, a yes or a no kind of stuff. This is how you can use bullet points. Let's use this one, right? And not only bullet points, we also have numbering also over here. And to enter numbering, say, we will type something else. Why? Lesson is on Facebook. And the spelling is wrong. And I type another line. My lesson is on Twitter. Okay. So now I select it and now I can do a numbering see we have changed it to numbers and there are multiple levels again uh, let me simply put it somewhere near some distance I will put it once again that's gone wrong Okay, we can, I'm using the control Z button to the hilt. So we select it and we choose the numbering system again. You can choose this one, this one, you you look at it, it will get the same way. Say this one is good. See? The numbering style has changed. We can even actually have different layers. Say one A subset. We can have multiple subsets we can have these kind of designs see I can have subsets over here so this is bullet points now comes the let's take away the bullet points now I'll tell you alignment now this is alignment sheet uh, this is automatically left aligned you see all the cases are left aligned all the letters are left aligned now I can do a center alignment sheet they are center aligned now. This is right aligned. And this is called justified. This is justified. Usually it is equal to uh, left alignment. But justified is good. Here you can, using this option, you can increase the line spacing. That is the gap between two lines. See how I want to increase it. Over here I can increase it. If you want to decrease it, you can decrease it from here. If you want to give a say a, a, a border to this paragraph you can do that from here you can draw a table see and you want to fill this table with something and then I simply choose it and I can do a color fill like this And now something very very good very good very good feature you see I'm selecting this text now I'm gonna roll over my mouse over these things and it will show you so many options of writing something and then beautifying it using styles yes this is called styles you see you see I'm just rolling over my mouse and you can see these different styles these are automatic styles so very wonderful to use there are so many of them. This one. Gives me immense pleasure to work with MS Word. Well, you can even change the styles of the letters. This is the style set. You can change the colors from here. Different colors. You can choose different fonts again. See? And 
now comes the find button say for example I have want to find something then I can click over here and first of all you have to ensure that you have not selected anything uh, any, any uh, because uh, this thing is region sensitive find button if you have already selected something or highlighted something then it will find it within that area if you have not selected anything then it will find it in the complete document so say for example I want to find out Facebook See, Facebook is written over here and I want to find it out I just click reading headlight light, headlight on and this is highlighted see not headlight it was highlight I'm so sorry so sorry so this is highlighted if there's something else you can find the next one also using here this and you can now even close it now comes to replace a very good one see I want to replace Facebook say with Google Plus you want to say that you want to say that uh, my e-lesson is on Google Plus Place. replace all will find all scenarios wherein Facebook is mentioned and replace it with Google Plus or it, this way you can simply find it one by one see my lesson is in Google Plus or rather it should be on Google Plus and here you can use this tool to select something and here is the famous help button the F1 button well I hope well this is for this video well I hope you like this video in my next video I would be coming the uh, I would be covering the insert tab well until then a very goodbye from me this is your guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning